Hakuna story na nibamba social media kama story ya Mr. Sanitizer. Mr. Sanitizer. Hata Biblia inasema it's either you are hot or you are cold. So leo nimeamuka mimi Mr. Sanitizer mimi na kuanga fan wake na nakuanga nimemfollow. Kuamuka nikaenda kwa Instagram. Kuangalia pale Instagram naona babu wino Honorable Babu Wino alikuanga rally. I don't I don't usually talk about politics but this is so funny for me. Naona Honorable Babu Wino alikuanga rally siju wapi? Babu Wino amepost vitu za rally, ameongea juu ya rally, ameongea vitu mingi. Sasa si mimi kuona Mr. Mr. Honorable Babu Wino amepost vitu za rally, nikaenda kwa page ya Mr. Sanitizer. Kuangalia kwa Mr. Sanitizer, Mr. Sanitizer ana post wasani na ana post content. Ah! Unajua we, we, we usually predict politics uh, kama tuseme next year uh, kama tuna watu wana vote November na labda tuko January ndo tuna predicting but Kenya ile kiti hata sisi wa Kenya everyone kila mtu anajua Kenya kama president ameingia president anaenda two terms utake usitake unyambe ushute the president will go for two terms but MP MCA governor women rep Uh, ah watu wengine wote watu wa ushebedu one time unaweza ingia na utoke haraka vile ulienda I did not expect Mr Sanitizer yake kukuwa predicted very early like this because akuna vile Mr Sanitizer pale anarudi Hata Biblia inasema it is either you are cold or you are warm it is either you are for the devil ama you are for God Watu wa UDA ni wa UDA damu. Watu wa Azimio ni wa Azimio damu. Ground inasema nimekaa nikaenda kwa ground. Ground inasema Mr Sanitizer arudi pale. Ah Mr Sanitizer. Baba umecheza vibaya. Mimi hiyo story. I, I, mimi kwanza leo ndo nimeingia nimechoka. Nimo, nimeona nimeona Mr Sanitizer umeanza kupost wasanii. Umeanza kupost wasanii na content. Watu wengine wa asimio, watu wa asimio wana post rally, wana post vile wanataka kupambana. Watu wa watu wa UDA wana post vile kazi inafanywa. Lakini wewe bana, umeanza kupost wasanii. Unajua kitu moja watu wanafaa kujua, ukitoka mali toka ondokea. Mr Sanitizer, ukitoka ukitoka mali ondokea. Ondokea. Ulishatoka huko kwa wasanii na mama ko, mambo ya content. Hiyo hiyo ndo mambo mimi nda ku advise. Mr Sanitizer nimekuwa kwa ground na ground imesema. Unaona ile blanda ulifanya kwenda state house ni because ulitoka kwa, kwa mambo ya ya usanii na ma PR lakini tena ukaanza kujirudisha kufikiria bado uko kwa PR. Hmm? Au uko kwa PR bro. Ondokea mambo ya content. On, ondokea mambo ya kushare vitu kwa YouTube channel. Ondokea hizo mambo. Sai we ni mheshimiwa bro. Ondokea hiyo mambo. Ungekuwa unafikiria kama politician au ungeenda state house. Blanda ni unafikiria kama politician na unafikiria kama content creator na unafikiria kama mtu uh, bado wa kufanya watu PR. Hiyo ndo kitu umekuuza Mr Sanitizer. Hmm? Mimi nataka ku advise. Kwa sababu ground inasema hata hii ya pili hautapata. Na unajua ule mtu wa langata ule ulimtoa haukumwacha sana. Kura zikuwa mingi ilikuwa kama kura 1000 hivi haukumwacha sana. So you have to be very very careful Mr Sanitizer. Unajua langata ni ya baba. His excellency. Unajua langata ni ya honorable nani baba. Na vile ulienda state house ulichoma. Sasa mimi nataka ku advise Mr Sanitizer Wacha enda uombe msamaha because ukiendelea kusema iko siku siku ni leo hakunaga siku siku ni leo tunasemaga hata kama mtu anataka kukusaidia huo mtu akusaidie leo hakuna venye bro kama mtu anataka kukusaidia anataka kukusaidia leo achana na yeye if someone wants to help you help me today usiniambie nikoje kesho unisaidie siku ni leo ndio maana president wetu alijaribu akawapanga leo unaona If you wait for tomorrow you will sleep hungry. Hmm? 
Siku ni leo Mr. Sanitizer wachana na iko siku. Iko siku hakuna siku. Hakuna siku my friend. Let no one lie to you iko siku. Hakuna siku. Ipo siku hakuna siku. Siku ni leo. So my advice is this Mr. Sanitizer. Enda uombe msamaha haraka. Sawa. Alafu state house. Uione kama moto. Huko usikanyage. Huko usikanyage. Eh? Tafuta babu wa wino. Ukae na ye chini. Sawa? Akuoneshe mambo yake because kama uko hii pande, kai hiyo pande. Kama uko hii pande, kai hiyo pande. Stick to one side. You cannot be 50-50. Kama yeye ni asimio ka asimio. Kama yeye ni UDA ka UDA. Tujue kuwa na msimamo. Sasa saa hii umeanza kupost mambo ya content. Umeanza kupost vijana barubaru, umeanza kupost wasanii. Huko ulitoka When God elevates you, kubali uelevetike. Mungu alisha kutoa pali wewe unapostu wa sani na wewe unapostu wa tuwa content. Uko ulisha toka bro. Wesa yu unafakua unatupostia leo maandamano imekuaje. Tunafaku kuona unapigwa na tia gasuko Mr. Sanitizer. Tunataka kukuona. Tu, tu, wacha ni kuambie. We want to see you. Ukitoroka tia gas. Waja kutudanganya na IPR Mr. Sanitizer. Tunataka kuona ukitoroka tia gas. Tujue wewe uko upande gani? Usitudanganye na hii mambo ya kishebedu. Ati uko state house, uko huku, tunataka kuona ukitoroka tia gas. Hii mambo ingine hatutaki. Sawa? Tunataka kuona utoroke tia gas. Tunataka kuona tia gas inapigwa na Mr. Sanitizer una, unatoroka. Unajua? Watu wale wako asimio wamepigana na asimio. Babu alishikwa ile wakati alisema uhuru nini? Eh? Babu alishikwa alikimizana na asimio. Babu alishikwa vile alitukana president, our former president. Watu wa asimio wamepigana. Watu wa UDA wakati wakati serikali ilikuwa walikuwa wanasema eh? eh siasa alikuwa na wakimbiza. Wewe ulikuwa kwa YouTube channel. Sasa Mr. Sanitizer my advice to you is this. Juu vile ground inaongea na mimi na ground inanisikia na ground nasikia ground vile nasema ground inasema hiyo miaka ingine tano unakula nje. Hmm? Ground inasema hiyo miaka ingine tano unakula nje. Sasa Mr. Sanitizer I want to advise you. Hmm? Usikuwa mtu wa kibladi a huh? bloody. Usikuwa mtu wa kishebedu. Mr. Sanitizer I want to advise you one thing. Sikiliza ground na uende uombe msama na tuone kama umepigwa na tear gas. Tunataka kuona unalia. Tunataka kuona unapigwa na tear gas ndo watu waasimio wakusamee. Kwa sababu ulifanya kitu mbaya. Watu wa UDA waliteseka, waliteseka. Watu wa UDA waliteseka. Hmm? Hmm? Watu wa UDA waliteseka sasa ile siasa ilikuwa hapo. Wanasema waliteswa, waliteswa. Hmm? Watu wa asimio sasa ile serikali ilikuwa walipigwa na tear gas. Wao ulipigwa na kamera tu kwa station. Ndio maana ujui uchungu ya kukuwa politician ama ujui uchungu ya kukaa pande moja. Hao watu wote wameteseka. You're the only neutral person kwa hii squad yote. Wewe ndio umetoka kwa media na ukaingia pale ukafanya mambo polite na mambo yako ikaenda. Na ni bahati ya Mungu. No one can fight you on that. But my advice is this Mr. Sanitizer, stick to one side. Hauwezi kuwa pande zote. Stick to one side. Hauwezi kuwa vugu vugu. It's either you are hot or you are cold. Hmm. Watu wa UDA hey, waliteseka. Wanasema ule si Yesu wa security aliwaumiza. Ha? Huh? Watu wa Simio pia waliteseka wamepigwa na tear gas miaka mingi. We ulikuwa tu radio. Hmm? So Mr. Sanitizer. Tafadhali Eh? Wewe tafuta baba uombe msamaha na ukae pande moja. Lakini mimi nitaambia watu wa simio kama mnataka kusamea Mr. Sanitizer, tunataka kumuona akienda kwa street na apigwe na tear gas. Apigwe na tear gas, tuone akilia. Hivyo ndo tutasamea mumsamee. Na kama uko UDA, ubadilishe Hmm? Ubadilishe. You have to be one side. Whether you uko na nguvu ama una nguvu, you have to be one side. Mimi mimi me I don't care about politics. I don't care. 
because akura politician anatai kusaidia but you have to choose a side uko huku ama uko huku unaona hiyo ndo bland hata ma musicians wetu wanafanyaga our musicians in Kenya are very bloody fucking and everyone in the middle dear our content creators in Kenya ni washebedu ni bloody fucking kila saa inafika anga saa politics content creators wetu wa Nairobi hawa kwangi na side wana preach peace wana preach peace ungekuwa na content creator ule anatoka anasema i'm in this side ingekuwa mzuri sana but that is a story for another day but for today mr sanitizer choose a side